Here we are back again at the MTI Center. Randy Roberts, Jeffrey Childs calling you all the action of what's been a great basketball game, sort of marred in the last few moments by some questionable fouls, but it's been a great game, and Adrian has connected a long range tonight. That's been the story, mostly off the hands of Kalanji. They missed the layup there, and Copeland yanks it down. Smith calls for Langston to come up for the pass. Langston puts it on the deck. Bounces to his right, jumper from 20, swirls it in. A nice job off the wing, kind of got the curl and, was got, o and uh, got open and hit the big jumper there. Trine cuts it back to four as number four, Treshawn Hurd handles. Dishes inside Webster, Webster on the deck, goes up, altered right there by Copeland. He didn't get the block, but he sure altered the shot. Smith, hands off to Langston. Winters swings it in the corner to Clune. Around the hump it goes. Smith cuts inside, twirls back to Clune top of the arc. Clune will drive in, foul before the shot. And he's going to be called. I think they're going to call him for the hand check. It's still going to should be the seventh, I believe, or eighth on Adrian. And and then the official signals block. He was very emphatic with the first initial call. Some big free throws here for Trine. They want to try to, to win this basketball game. Clune, a 66% shooter, gets the first. Now with three and a half to play, you're back within a one possession game. 3.35 to go in the game. Clune bounces the basketball, eyes the rim, and hits it. Crowd starting to make some noise as the students in the south end zone jump up and down. Swing pass, heard in the corner for Adrian. Dribbles ahead, penetrates inside. That one will go. Yeah, and Fishers They're are going to discuss it. Trying basketball. They're trying to see if the ball was deflected by trying defender in the corner. That Coach Lindsay now in the year of one of the officials. Lindsay knows this program well, the former trying assistant under head coach Brooks Miller really started the modern era of trying basketball. Five straight appearances in the MIAA semis under his watch. MIAA championship game two years ago, led trying to their first national ranking. He was a big part of this program for five seasons. Yes, he was. Winters, the slow dribble, Smith up to take it. The head fake, on herd, Smith fakes the shot. Langston backs up in the rings. Langston kicks to Smith, has to track it down, has five on the shot clock, splits the D, it'll stay on this end, but with only three seconds remaining on the clock. And Coach Miller trying to let everyone know that there's just three to shoot. Let's see, they'll have to get something, they're gonna get the line, it looks like. They get 100 down at the low block, and they're gonna go right to them. There it is, roll off, it's a loose ball, Rainey corrals it. It's a good look. They had the other three players in the line, and if Hunter wasn't open, they're going to have the curl, kind of like the swinging gate in the Hoosiers, and have someone come around and try to get the open look. Rainey palms the dribble with one hand, kicks to the corner. There's Webster. Webster back to Rainey. Eyes the three off the back of the rim, right to Smith, rumbling up the court. Smith turns around, hangs to Langston. Eyes the three. Pure! Big three-pointer. Wow, big three-pointer. Trine tonight in the first half. They led for only a minute 25. They're ahead now as Hurd comes back, lays it in. I just got that quick opening step, was able to beat his defender, and Hurd able to take that all the way, laid it, off, laid it up off the glass and in. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Coach Lindsay yelling vociferously at his charges as he sits down now as the official walks over. Treshawn Hurd steps to the line, the sophomore out of Lafayette. Yeah, I think they want to discuss maybe what's going on with the shot clock because now we see it bouncing between 10 and 30. The officials have the conversation right in front of Hurd and now one official talks to the timekeeper in front of us. Yeah, he just want to make, I think he's trying to he just wants to make sure that's not something that's going on here at the table. I think it's just electronic malfunctions, nothing that's going on here. 
It's just the, the clocks kind of freeze for a moment. They're working, but it'll go, you know, we've seen it a couple of times, go from the 28 down to 22. And, uh, and it just it messes everyone up because you look up and you think you've got so much time, and then you look back down and it changes. And now the, the officials may be discussing maybe keeping the shot clock uh, on the floor. 2.07 to go in the game. Try and huddles for a moment, and now Hurd steps to the line looking for the three-point play in his fourth point of the game. Gets it. Scored in a season-high 19 in that win over Calvin. Again, he has just four today. Coach Brooks Miller asks for the timeout and gets it. Trying just has two remaining. One now, excuse me. 2.01 to go in the game. And Randy, if you're Coach Miller and Trine, what's sort of the strategy here in the final minutes? Right now, with a ball on offense, you have to be patient. You have to get something good. Don't necessarily have to make it. Still plenty of time. Two minutes left with a shot clock is an eternity in college basketball. But with the basketball here, be patient. Look for a good shot. Don't take the first thing you see, which is kind of typically what the offense of Trine has been under Coach Miller. Good, you know, feel free to run some time. You know, you can run that thing down no, almost to a minute and a half, really, and then you still have plenty of time. Get a stop. If you don't get anything, get a stop at the other end. You still have a minute to work with. So plenty of time. So I think the big thing stressed here is just being patient with a basketball. Both of these teams in this game have just been smothering. Adrian normally allows 66 a game. That's tops in the MIAA, trying as 53. And then the other side, a Herculean effort for the trying defense, they normally allow 72. Adrian's only mustered 55. Yeah, and I, I imagine that the, the team's defenses really have uh, a lot to do with that. And, and, it, and who mentioned that in the pregame, that it might come down to defense? I think you did. I know. <laughs> I talked about the – I'm an offensive guy. <laughs> or as people say, I'm an – yeah. <laughs> they, they break the huddle. I'm an offensive guy. Break the uh, timeout as Kloon set to trigger in. Winters out there along with Pete Smith. Langston stands with his hands on his hips. Far post. Smith, 20 on the clock, just under two. Cutting to Langston, right at the rim, and he lays it in as backing up as Hunter gestures to the crowd. They rise to their feet in Angola. And I'm 0 for 2. I said be patient, but then the first thing is to go attack the rim and you get the wide open layup, and then you'll take that. All knotted at three. Open shooter Webster gets the man up in the air. Can't get the roll. Off to Smith. Yeah, I'm surprised Webster, when he got his defender in the air, didn't take the three. Langston standing on the left side. He has the ball now. Into Hunter. Got a lane to the basket. Knocked out of bounds. It'll stay right here with the Thunder. Yeah, it's kind of blocked there by Coach Miller standing up in front of us. As Hunter just had trouble kind of corralling the basketball when he got that pass down to the low block. But the officials deemed that that went off an Adrian player, not a bounce. Big break for Trine. Inbounds. There it is. And reading the play all the way was Harris, the swipe. Yeah, that one just knocked away that inbound pass. And shoot, tried to shoot it into the corner. And that ball looked like it was tipped right off the start. The students begin the defense chant. Heard. High mid post. Now, now beyond the line. Spins in the lane. Up with it. Swatted away. Rejection by Maurice Hunter. A yeah, big play. The only problem is he was the last one to touch it, so Adrian will still have nine seconds and a minute to work. And Webster going to just attack the basket in the lane. Rolls off right to Hurd. Hurd thinks a second time about it going up against Hunter. And Maurice Hunter, the emotion on his face as he walks back to the Trine sideline. Yeah, he knows that was a big play. He got the big stop and a heads up play there for Adrian. Adrian getting that final carom off the rim. It looked like Trine would rebound. Yeah, they got the big, and Harris also had the big play there. He was double teamed after he grabbed it and wasn't quite sure what to do. So with the plethora of timeouts they have, you might as well use one here. With that being the case, we'll step out as well. All tied up at 55. We hope you're ready for this finish. A white knuckler in Angola, 55 all. We'll be back on the Trine Broadcasting Network. Welcome back. We hope you're enjoying this basketball game. We hope you're enjoying our live stream brought to you every single game here on the Trine Broadcasting Network. 
Webster out there along with Harris for Adrian. Pete Smith, Clune out there as well. Hunter guarding the inbound. Webster in the corner. Harris top side. The shot clock still hasn't started. Now it's down to 20. Harris kicks to the corner. Hurd gonna take it himself between the leg dribble. Off to Colbert, doesn't shoot. Still no shot clock, now it's down to 10. Up in the air, blocked again, and they'll call a foul on Hunter. Boy, the shot clock froze at least twice on that possession. Really strange. Yeah, Hunter thought he had another clean block if the official said that Hunter caught him with a body. And now, no matter what happens here, trying, hopefully he'll get the ball either on a, on a rebound or should Adrian make. And with uh, basically six second difference, can really run this one down and play for either a win or a tie. Harris gets the first free throw. The second as fans stomp the seats. Gets them both. 35 on the clock. Smith jogs up far side. Now cuts to horizontal and a timeout called by Jason Clune. Yeah, they're gonna wanna get to the right spot where they can inbound here on side court. That's exactly what they're going to do here. So the 30 seconds left to go in the game clock, 24 in the shot clock. Really the, the last uh, true chance. Yeah, a big, no, no matter who wins this one, it's going to be a big game. This series started shortly back in 2003. Adrian leads the all-time series 16 to 14. A try and win would push them to within one of tying the all-time series. Clune inbounding. Smith standing next to him. Far court, Marcus Winters with his hands on his hips. Hunter in the paint. Langston to his right. Smith crosses to the NCAA logo. 20 on the shot clock. Langston going to go to the hoop. Kicks it outside. Clune drives to the basket. Lays it off. Lays it in. And one. Big bucket. Jason Clune. Hasn't had a lot to talk about with offense today, but a nice job. Saw a lane open in the paint, took it, went up strong with the left. Someone, I didn't see who that was for Adrian, I don't know who they called the foul on. Just a step late, and I believe that was uh, Coljoni. Clune, just 6.4 points per game this year. Trine has the lead. Sit tight, Trine fans. No timeout, three timeouts for Adrian, zero for Trine, and Adrian will in fact, they won't use the timeout, the referee stops play, and again, I think it's a shot clock issue. Yeah, they turn the, cl the shot clocks off, I think. I think time clock, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, I think what the, what the officials are saying is that the clock, the game clock had started on the made free throw it doesn't start until once the ball's inbound, someone has to touch it. Under the one minute mark. I yeah, yes. and I believe that when it went through and on the inbound before it was touched, the clock was started prematurely. Treshawn Hurd waits for the ball to start the clock, steps over the midcourt stripe, now picks it up. 18, Hurd gonna go all the way, kicks to the corner, loose ball in the air. It stays on this end, I was waiting for the crowd to erupt. It's gonna be a foul. They're gonna call a try and foul in the corner. I heard the whistle, didn't see anything with a mass of bodies. <clears throat> that there's gonna be a, a one and one coming here as Winters was called. I don't know that what- That was the, very tough as both players went for the ball yeah, there. I don't know exactly what the foul was in the corner, but we'll see a one and one for Adrian, 14 seconds left. Harris, the one and one, gets the first and ties the game. Smith gets instructions from head coach Brooks Miller. Jordan Harris, the freshman from Indianapolis for the lead. No sweat. Trine, 14 on the clock. They trail by one. Smith picks it up, jogs across the timeline. 10 on the clock, down to nine. Between the legs, dribble Smith, going to let it go. Yes! And Adrian's going to get a timeout. They're going to put some time on the clock here. It went through the cylinder at about six and a half. A big step back shot, top of the key. And Adrian had some time left. They're gonna look. There should be, I would guess, about six 
It may end up with about four or five in the game clock. But when that went through the cylinder, 6.2. Yeah, when it went through the cylinder, again, the clock should stop when the ball goes through with under a minute left. And I, no, I take that back. I thought I thought Adrian had called the timeout, and that's what it was about. But they'll get the free timeout setting the game clock. And they called that a two. Yes. They called that a two. Pete Smith wearing a crown today as this crowd waves the towels in the air. Final six seconds for trying to get a game-winning stop. Now Adrian doesn't have to shoot a three here, and I think that's the big thing. That changes the trying defense. Miller tells his team not to foul. Harris inbounds. Webster got five. Going to go to the hoop on his way. Rolls off, and a foul with 1.2 left. And Jason Clune's going to be called for the blocking call. And once again, they're going to make sure the clock is set here. <clears throat> Justin Webster has been kind of quiet offensively here so far tonight. Seven points for the senior, the hometown boy out of Adrian. He makes two. Adrian is pretty close to salting this away. They put two back on the clock, 3.1 remaining as this has been an unreal basketball game and a great chapter in this rivalry. And the good news for Trine is no matter what happens here with the two free throws, still within one possession, and really a two-pointer will be a game winner for Trine. Webster, the crowd in his ears. He bends, he fires, rolls the first off. Yeah, I gotta tell you, Jeff, I've been going to games at Hershey Hall for a long, long time. Never got as loud as it is here in the MTI. The sound center. reverberating off the wall. The second for Webster ties it. Three for Trine. Big Smith, the inbounds. Gonna go. He's gotta let it go. Short. We'll head to overtime. Yeah, big thing for Trine, there was no timeout. So they, if anyone got in trouble, he couldn't get bailed out with a timeout call. We'll get some extra basketball. And what a game to get the extra session. Let's play another frame, partner. Why not? Why not? I love it. Adrian 60 trying the tremendous comeback. Tied at 60. Overtime ahead on the Trine Broadcasting Network. 